Hello dear students, Namaskar. I welcome you all to this new course on understanding the Arctic climate and the need for environmental protection. This course is developed by Soyam platform on the six pillars of Indian Arctic policy. This is a four credit course and the duration of this course is 15 weeks. And this course is designed for students both at the undergraduate and at the postgraduate level. And about this course coordinator, myself Dr. Anu Gopinath, I am working as a professor in chemical oceanography and head of the department of aquatic environment management. Kerala University of Fisheries and Ocean Studies, Kochi, Kerala. I am actively involved in teaching and research in the field of chemical oceanography as well as environmental sciences for the past 20 years. I am a Commonwealth Fellow and has participated in India's Arctic expedition thrice 2014, 2016 and 2017. My team is also actively involved in polar research by being a part of Indian Arctic expeditions under the leadership of National Centre for Polar and Ocean Research which comes under Ministry of Earth Sciences, Government of India. So this course is a collaborative initiative of UGC and Ministry of Earth Sciences, Government of India with the purpose of raising awareness among the universities, colleges and institutions about the importance of Arctic as well as polar studies. The decision to generate a course on Arctic policy or polar studies under the SOYAM platform was made during a meeting of National Security Council Secretariat which was held after the release of Indian Arctic policy on 17th of March 2022 under the title India and the Arctic Building a Partnership for Sustainable Development. While implementing India's Arctic policy, the country needs multiple stakeholders including academia, research community, business and industrial people. And further this policy is expected to play a crucial role in preparing the country to collectively address challenges such as climate change. So hence this course is open to those who are interested to explore the potential of Arctic in terms of resources, research and scientific collaborations and also transportation, connectivity and the geopolitics in the Arctic. This course has 40 modules and in the first phase of this course, we will focus on Arctic as a geographic region, Arctic Circle, India and the Arctic. We will also discuss about Arctic and the Third Pole, the Himalayas, history of New Elsin and India's research in the Arctic. Coming to the second phase, we will focus on Arctic pollution, Arctic Ocean acidification, persistent organic pollutants and other type of emerging contaminants in the Arctic, for example microplastics and also we will discuss about the release of methane in the Arctic, the pollution related to mercury in the Arctic. And here we will also focus about the Arctic monitoring reports based on different types of contaminants present in the Arctic. And in the phase 3, we will introduce about Arctic Council, Arctic Economic Council, role of India as an observer in the Arctic Council and India's collaborating interest in the Arctic forums. And in phase 4, we will focus on laws of the sea and close indigenous rights in the Arctic Ocean, territorial claims and special rights of Arctic coastal states, India's Arctic policy 2022 and Arctic policies for the Asian observers. So finally, we have a test series scheduled during the last week and in addition to that, we are also having assessments based on assignments and online quizzes. Also, I am holding some special sessions on interactive discussions on different modules in each week of this course. I strongly believe that this course has covered all the points coming under the six pillars of India's Arctic policy which was released in March 2022. Also, I believe that the students will get a lot of ideas about Arctic research and also the job opportunities which are going to come up in the near future with the opening up of Northern Sea Route, the jobs in the maritime sector as well as other 
other industrial sectors. Also, this course is going to give you an idea about the need for protecting the Arctic climate because we know that this Arctic climate is very well connected to the global climate. So, there is a need for protecting this Arctic environment. Coming to our team, so we have Captain Anurag Bison who is a senior fellow Vivekananda International Foundation and he has 35 years of experience in the Indian Navy with expertise in maritime law, maritime and coastal security and polar issues. And Captain was also instrumental in drafting and coordinating the approval process of India's Arctic policy released in March 2022. So, we have also uh, Dr. Sunil Piers, Professor and Head from Department of Geology and Geophysics, Cochin University of Science and Technology, Kerala. And he has a vast experience by being a part of India's Arctic as well as Antarctica expeditions. Also, we have Dr. Matthew Everkis, Assistant Professor, School of International Relations and Politics, Mahatma Gandhi University, Kottayam, Kerala. And Dr. Matthew has expertise in political ethnography, anthropology of ecological relationships and Anthropocene. And also we have Dr. Binimol K, faculty member from School of Legal Studies, Cochin University of Science and Technology, Kerala. And Dr. Binimol has expertise in maritime law. So we have included excellent videos, e-text as well as other original photographs collected during India's Arctic expeditions. So we invite you all to be a part of this exciting course on Arctic and the course will provide you all the information related to the Arctic in a simple manner which can be easily understood by students from science as well as humanities background. So wishing you all the best and hope to meet you as part of our interactions once we start this course. So thank you all once again and have a great time ahead. Namaskar.